YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a mid skin fade. Stay tuned. I always like to begin by brushing or combing out my client's hair and getting everything to lay in its natural direction. My client does want the tips of his hair removed, so I'm going to go ahead and saturate it with water to gain a little bit more control over it. Since my client asked me to remove the tips of his hair, I'm going to go ahead and do that first. And there's not a whole lot to explain here. I just kind of wanted to share this so you've seen that it got done. But it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just pulling up sections of hair, one right after the other, removing just the tips of his hair. Alright, so now that I got his hair trimmed to his desired length, I'm going to come in with my gamma trimmer and I'm going to begin to create and set my first guideline, which is going to be my bald guide. Alright, so now that my bald guideline was created, I'm going to come in with my Babyliss foil shaver and I'm going to completely bald out that guide. However, when I get towards the top of that guideline, I am going to use that flick out motion because I want to leave a little bit of stubble. And if I use that flick out motion, it's going to create somewhat of a fade already. And to me, this is the most important step because later this is going to help the blend pop. Now that I'm done with my bald guideline, I'm going to come in with my Stylecraft Ergo with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. So now that my guide was created, I'm now going to close the lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top. And one thing I love about this ergo is it has the notches on the lever, so I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to let the clipper do the work for me. So I'm going to come in with my clipper fully closed and then I'm going to use a third notch and then I'm going to use it fully open again just to clean up the top. And I will detail anything if needed, but this clipper kind of does everything that it's supposed to. And that's one thing that I love about it. So now that that's blended out, I'm going to come in with my wall number one guard with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to create and set my next guideline. I'm going to give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything consistent with this blend. So one thing I want to point out about my client is if you look towards the back right now, you could see that his head takes a different shape. Um, it kind of bulges out slightly and then it has a dip and right above where I'm cleaning up right now It has another indentation 
so the reason why I set his guideline the way that I did is because it's going to complement his head shape the most so now that my guide was created with the lever open you see now that I close my lever and I'm going to begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up to the top of this guide so I'm literally going to take this one close right up to underneath where I just had the one fully open So the one typically leaves some weight behind and right where I'm showing you is the weight that I see. So I'm going to come in with my wall half guard with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to attack right above the weight that I see. Again that's right above the weight that I see. And then I'm going to use that fade down process meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed working my way down until that guide's completely blended out. I also want to say that with all the indentations that my client does have, I'm going to have to do a lot of detail work. But right now, I'm just going to work my way through my steps and then I'll come back later and I'll polish up everything. I don't want to waste time trying to blend out everything. I just want to work through my steps so I could get this haircut done in a good amount of time where my client feels like he's been appreciated and valued but not held captive. You know what I'm saying? So again i'm gonna work my way through my steps so if what i'm basically saying is if you see some flaws in the fade don't even trip i'm gonna clean that up when i detail so right now i'm gonna come in with my wall number two guard with the lever fully open and this time i'm gonna be flicking out because i don't want to create a guideline however i do want to stretch his blend so you could see that i'm using that flick out motion as i get towards the top and once i clean up with the lever fully open i'll then close the lever and begin to clean up everything underneath where i just left off with that lever fully open Alright, so now I'm going to come in with my wall one and a half guard with the lever fully open and right where I just showed you is the weight that I see from the number two closed. So again, I'm going to continue with that flick out motion because my client has an indentation right here, but I am going to clean up with the lever fully open and again, I'm going to use the fade down process, meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until that guide's completely blended out. All 
All right, so now that my blend's starting to come together, I'm gonna take my gamma trimmer and create a C cup. And I'm doing this now because once you create the lineup, you will notice flaws in your fade and that's exactly what I'm looking for. And since I have the trimmer in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to do the other side and repeat the same exact steps. I'm not gonna walk you guys through them, but I am gonna share a little bit of it just so I can show you guys the other side. While you ride out to this beat, I want to say shout out to Tito Beats for this fire that you hear in your ear. I'm going to make sure to leave his link in the description, so make sure you guys tap in. Also, he's got um, background music for sale or beats that you could use if you're a rapper and that's your thing. So make sure you check my man out, man. He's hella talented. Again, that's Tito Beats, and I'm going to leave his link in the description. So right here, I'm going to take my wall number four guard with the lever closed and I'm going to connect the blend to the top. And the reason why I know this is a safe guard to use because the top of his hair is basically finger length. So this number four guard is equivalent to finger length for me. So now that I clean that up, I'm going to begin to prep his lineup and we're not looking to give him some crazy lineup. We're just looking to clean up what's there. You could see that he has some open gaps in some areas. So I'm just going to go ahead and line that up and give it a fuller look. So while his lineup area dries from the hairspray that I applied, I'm going to go ahead and begin my finish work using my straight razor and I'm going to clean up his C cup area. So now I'm going to clean up his lineup area again, keeping everything natural, just trying to give it a fuller look. Speaking of look, here's a look at the final cut. If you got anything useful out this, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only going to get doper from here. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.